Hi! Welcome to McElroy Quick Tutorials. My name is Sergio Gibrim and I am the International Tech Service Manager for McElroy. So today we're going to talk about how to set up your Data Logger 6. Okay? So, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to show you my Data Logger so you can see how to set it up from the tablet directly. Okay? So, if we go to our Data Logger 6 and just open up the McElroy uh, Data Logger app, we're just going to select, for example, on the Bolt, and we're going to add our username and password, verify the account. If you don't know how to set up the Bolt, uh, we can just go online and just select the Bolt site, and then you just create your um, username and your account for free. Okay? Then you click Verify Account and click Done. Then you can start the fusion. So while you start the fusion, you can select you know the process type, the join ID number, the job name that you wish. Uh, you can create as many operators as you want with pictures, and you can create as many machines as you want with including serial numbers, models, and everything like that, and including pictures. Okay. Um, you can also select whether you're using an indich kit or you're doing a, a tiny if you want as well. You can download the operator manual. Uh, of that machine in particular if you want to have that handy. Then if you click next you can select the bot fusion type uh, sorry the fusion type which uh, you can select whether it is uh, bot fusion here uh, so if you click here you can select whether it is you know bot fusion, sidewall, meter, dual containment. Okay so in this case we're just gonna select uh, bot fusion and we're gonna click next and then the specification, you can select whether it is, uh, you know, ISO 21307, single high fours, or others. Okay, so we can click next here, then we can take a picture of our setup. So if I click next, it won't allow me because I have, uh, you know, that I have to take at least one picture. So I'm going to take just a picture of myself here, just click here, and then click done. Nice picture there. Uh, now I'm just going to click next. Now I'm going to select <clears throat> the ambience temperature, pipe temperature, weather conditions, whether it's sunny, you know, rainy, snow, if it's windy or not, then the type of shelter, you know, if we got a tent, if it's indoor or non, as I have it here selected, okay? Then we click next, next, and then we can select the information of the pipe, you know, OD, SDR, uh, type of uh, material and whether it's going to be fused to the similar similar pipe or not or you can use the, the, the you know the barcode that is on the pipe itself okay so then we click next and then here uh, you get all the pressures uh, the interfacial pressures recommended by the standard all right and then here you're gonna uh, measure your drag so once you measure your drag uh, then you click next and then the data logger calculates the fusion pressure for you. So here is the current pressure. It's, it's reading zero because I have my data logger uh, not connected to anything and that's why I'm reading zero. But then otherwise you get your bit of pressure, heat soak time pressure and fusion and cooling time pressure. Then you click next and then here's where you record the temperature of your heater. Uh, so you can, you, you can record as much as four recordings or as low as just one recorder per side of the heater. Okay, so you flip your heater and you can record another again the temperature of the heater. As you can see it's telling you in which range uh, that temperature should be at. Then we click next and then it's telling you to prepare to start the fusion. It's telling you all the information that you require for that fusion. And then here is where you put your heater in. Uh, click the start button, wait a couple of seconds and then you hit your uh, close uh, lever, okay, on your manifold block. And then you start recording your joint. Here you get all the information again about the bead, uh, minimum bead, and your uh, pressure for the beat up and then your minimum beat after the hit so time then you got your hit so time and the pressure of the hit so time then you got your opening and close time and your fusion and cool pressure and time okay you got your timer here and so that's it all right so i hope you guys uh enjoyed this uh how quickly how to set up your data logger um so for for the next uh, couple of days, um, we're gonna be uh, showing more information about this. But also, if you join the 
the link below you can sign up for um, the the webinar that we have for prepare for next week and so you're gonna be able to learn more details about how to set up your data logger, about the features of the data logger, and we're gonna go more in depth about all uh, the information that you can use, all right? So, we hope to see you soon, and uh, take care out there. Thank you.